Hi, everybody. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Can't wait to hear about it. It talks story time. Good to see you all. Yep, perfect. Thank you. Some of you are already doing it. If you haven't already, do me a favor. Put your name in the chat. It helps me take attendance. Good to see you all. All right, I'll give you guys a couple more seconds to get your name in the chat for me. Thank you, thank you. Looks good, looks good. And we'll get started in just a sec. All right, so today's Health Corner topic is all about resting well, getting good rest, super important. Um, but first, before we get into today's topic, I wanna hear what you guys did for your healthy habit challenge. Who would like to share what they did? What did we do? How did we express gratitude over the past week? Anyone? You can unmute or you can type it in the chat. Yes, yeah, Seth, you would like to share? Yes. Okay. I can say is, you know, you learn to be, say thank you when your parents are trying to help you anything and yeah. That's great, Seth. Thank you yeah, for sharing. Great. That's great. Perfect. And All also, right. I'm learning for gratitude is using manners and say thank you. Excellent, Gilbert. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Let's see, let's see what the chat says. Gabriel, helping people out. Yes, that's a great way to express gratitude. Awesome, awesome, you guys. It's great to hear, let's see. Anyone else wanna share? Yes, Kylie, you'd like to share, go ahead. Um, um, eating healthy. Like eating the right fruits and vegetables. Okay, sure. That doesn't apply to our gratitude healthy habit challenge, but it certainly certainly applies to our other ones. That's great. I'm glad to hear you're eating healthy, eating balanced meals. Excellent. Thank you for sharing. All right, you guys. Good to hear. You guys are incorporating our healthy habits into your lifestyles. Let's talk about our topic for today. So my question to you is, what is rest? Can anyone think of an example of rest? Or what do you think of when you think of the word rest? Let's see. Yeah, Gabriel, getting eight hours of sleep, that's great. What else do we think of when we think of the word rest? Nikki Wayne, eating, yeah, eating can be a form of rest. Napping, yep, sleep, yep. There's lots of good ways to rest. Meditation, yes. Go to bed on time, Gilbert, yeah. Getting a good um, sleep schedule is important. Yeah, drinking lots of water, Kylie, that's great. What else? How else do we rest? Can't think of anything else? That's okay, we're gonna talk about some other things. So we go to sleep early and wake up early, that's great. Having a schedule for sleep is really important. So rest is technically, if you look up the dictionary de definition, it's a state of minimal functional metabolic activities. What does that mean? Those are a bunch of big words, right? It basically just means taking a break. Um, it can, but it can really take on a lot of different forms. So rest will look different to a lot of different people. Let's see, clearing your mind. Yes, that's great. Getting lots of sleep. What are some of your favorite ways to rest? What are our favorite ways to rest? If you've had a long day, what does rest look like to you? Relax, yeah. And how do we relax? How do we like to relax? 
taking a nap, Gilbert. Yeah, that's a great way to rest. What else? Staying positive, sure. Napping, yep. Taking a break from watching TV, yep. Sitting and relaxing, lying around. Yeah, these are all great forms of rest. We're gonna talk about a few more. Reading, yeah, reading can be a really great form of rest. Taking a break from school, doing homework. Yeah, definitely. Meditation, great. Relaxing at the beach or the library. Yes, getting a change of scenery can be great. Reading a book, taking a break from work. Great, you guys. There's our pros at resting. I love it. All right. So why is rest important? What do you guys think? Why is it important to get enough rest or to get good rest? For your body, yes. It's important to get enough rest for our bodies and for our minds. Anyone else have any ideas why rest is important? Yeah, for healthy minds and healthy bodies, exactly. So taking good care of our bodies and minds can make a huge difference in our overall health, right? We're all athletes, many of us work. Um, these are all great activities, but if we don't rest enough, then we can't be expected to perform at our best. Um, exercising, relaxing, and getting enough rest can help us do better and enjoy our life more. Um, taking good care of ourselves can sometimes require a little bit of extra effort, but it is so worth it. Let's see what the chat says. Yeah, reducing stress, getting enough energy. Yes, exactly. Rest is super important to replenish that energy. So rest is vital. Vital means so important to our mental and physical health. It has really great benefits. We'll see lots of physical benefits to our immune system, right? Super important during cold and flu season. It can also help with stress management, which many of you have already said can help our mood, decision-making, creativity, and work productivity. As athletes, it can help us build both mental and physical strength. Super important, right? Our big season for summer games is coming up. We want to be um, training properly, but also resting properly so that we can perform at our best. So some of the benefits to resting well, um, we can have increased energy throughout the day. We can concentrate better. We can be better at making decisions, have a better memory, manage stress. Um, we can have better physical health and a better immune system, all just from resting. How great is that? Um, rest is what helps our bodies function properly. And uh, while prioritizing rest isn't always the easiest, right? You guys are all super busy people. And when we're really busy, it can be hard to take a step back and stop um, and take a break, but it is super important because it will help us in the long term. So there's lots of different ways that we can rest and we're gonna talk about some of that. But first, how much rest do we need? Does anyone have any ideas? How much rest do you guys think we need? In 24, 24 what? Minutes? Days? We definitely, yep, some of you guys are right on the, hit the nail on the head. We want at least around eight hours of sleep per day. 24 hours, that's a lot of rest. Maybe over, over the course of a few days, we could definitely get a cumulative 24 hours, certainly. Yeah, so the amount of rest a person needs will actually vary depending on your lifestyle. So it's different. What, how much rest I need might be different from how much rest you need. Um, it depends on what we're doing every day. If we're running 30 miles a day, then we might need a little bit more rest at night, right? To let our bodies recover. But we want to get about eight hours of sleep every night and about three to four hours of active rest throughout the day. So active rest is something that isn't necessarily sleeping, 
So a form of rest could be reading, like you mentioned earlier, or exercising, right? So things that we're doing that um, are active, we're, do we're actively doing something. We're not just laying on the couch napping, but we're still taking a break from work or uh, schoolwork, maybe whatever it might be causing us stress. Rest will look different for everyone. Um, it's really important to reflect on your own lifestyle and figure out what activities and practices help you feel rested. So maybe if you uh, like to do crossword puzzles, then you could use that as your form of rest. I don't like to do crossword puzzles, so that's not what I would choose. I would like to read instead or do something else, maybe go out on a walk or something like that. Um, on some days, you know, you might need more rest than others, but we should always prioritize dedicating a little bit of time in, in the day, at least um, a little bit to rest and recharge. So these are all the different types of rest. They come in many different forms. We want to live super balanced lives. So too much of anything can um, cause us to need rest and take a break. So if you are maybe working on a puzzle and you just can't figure it out, you might need some creative rest or some sensory rest. And it might be a good idea to take a break from that puzzle and go outside for a walk. Um, but if you were all athletes, if we're in season and we're training really hard and we worked out our bodies really hard, then we might need some physical rest. So maybe that walk isn't um, necessarily what we're needing at that moment, right? It might be good instead to take a break, maybe do some coloring, maybe watch a movie, um, something like that. It's very different for every person and it's different depending on what your lifestyle looks like. Let's see what we've got in the chat. Yeah, you could read stuff to rest. That's great. It says morning exercise, Kyle. Yeah, exercise can certainly be a form of rest, especially for those of you that work or maybe have schoolwork, um, getting some movement in so that you're not sitting or um, staying in one place all day can be a great form of rest. So first, creative rest. Sometimes we might feel like we're just out of good ideas or feel creatively drained. This can be a sign that we need some creative rest to regroup. What do you guys think are some good ways we can get creative rest? If you feel like you're out of creativity, what, what do you like to do when you feel that way? Walking, yeah, walking is a great way to clear your mind. Working out, yeah. Getting some physical movement in can certainly help. Give your mind a reset. Yoga, yeah, that's great. Yoga is great. Yeah, you guys know the drill. You're so smart. Let's see, going to the gym. Yep, all great ways to get some creative rest. Um, you could go outside on a walk. You could do yoga, like you mentioned, work out go to the gym, bicycling, awesome, walking in the morning. Yes, getting outside is one really great way to get some creative rest. Swimming, yes, excellent. You um, To get some more or other ways to get creative rest, we can practice mindfulness, right? We talked about that a few weeks ago. We can visit a museum, right? Draw inspiration from other people's creativity, or we can do something just for fun. If we're not feeling creative, we can put aside all the pressure of whatever we're working on and we can just go do something for fun. Help us do a little reset. All right, our second form of rest is mental rest. So um, we might need some mental rest when we start to feel easily distracted or overwhelmed or we're having a hard time focusing. Um, this can happen at work or at school or just throughout the day. It might feel like we have some brain fog. Um, how do you guys think that we can practice mental rest or what are your favorite ways to practice this? What do you guys think? When you're feeling overwhelmed, what's one way that you help yourself feel less overwhelmed? Go somewhere where there's quiet. Yeah, that's great. 
We'll certainly do that. Breathing, yeah, breathing is great. Taking deep breaths can certainly help. We could exercise too, right? Anything to help clear our mind. Go to find a place to study. A change in environment can be great to give your mind a break from whatever uh, space you've been in. That's great, you guys. Um, we can do, we can help ourselves get mental rest by taking short breaks throughout the day. So instead of just taking one long break, maybe we take um, a few shorter breaks periodically throughout the day. And during these breaks, we might want to get up and stretch. So moving our bodies. For those of you that were at opening ceremonies at um, Holiday Classic, our friend Nicole led us in a great stretch um, session. That can be great to do when we need a little mental break. Um, we could go for a short walk or we could journal, um, meditation. Yep. Taking deep breaths. We might also want to try to disconnect. So not using our phones or tablets or computers before bedtime, um, and just practicing some mindfulness. So that could look like yoga or just breathing, reflecting, um, whatever you are feeling. All right, our third form of rest is physical rest. This one is super important for us as athletes, right? What does physical rest look like to you? What does it look like? Does it look like running marathon? sleeping. Yes. Gabriel working out in the morning. I don't know about that. Maybe not for physical rest, maybe for some of our other forms of rest, definitely. But physical rest we want when we're, um, when our bodies need a break, right? So maybe we worked out really hard the day before our muscles are a little bit sore, we're a little bit achy. That's the time for physical rest. So yes, sleeping, listening to music, yoga. Yep. Getting some light movement in listening to quiet music. Yes, these are all great forms of physical rest. It's super important for us as athletes. Um, it's important for us to get enough sleep and do active recovery. As you can see, there's people are doing yoga and listening to music and laying on the couch, <laughs> which is really important to let your muscles recover because when your muscles hurt, What's actually happening is your body is trying to build those muscles back together and they're build, it's building them stronger. Um, so letting, giving the body time to do that is really important. Um, yeah, so this looks like napping, prioritizing sleep, practicing yoga, stretching, or get a massage, that could be fun. Um, yep, we wanna recover and come back stronger. Number four, social rest. What do you guys think social rest means? Anyone have any ideas or want to take a guess? What does it mean to need some social rest? Yeah, painting is a great way to get social rest. Talking to friends, sure, building meaningful connections. Coloring, yeah. So social rest, praying, sure, Kyle. Drawing, yes, chatting with friends, art, yeah. So social rest um, can sometimes, it can, we can need it when we're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all of the different, if we're in a crowded space or there's lots of people around, we're all peopled out, maybe we need some me time or we just want to focus on a few really meaningful connections in our life. Um, it's a good idea to take some time when we, need, when we feel like we need this to do some things that make us happy. So like you guys mentioned, it could look like art, uh, praying, coloring, listening to music, reading, you could watch a movie, um, when we're hanging out with friends chatting with friends. We want to be more intentional with our energy um, and our attention. So that might mean when we're with our friends, we put away our phone or our tablet and we just focus on them so that we really hear what they're saying and we can just be in the moment and be more mindful. 
Um, sometimes our social batteries might run low and we need some me time. So some alone time, which is really important, right? Especially during the holidays when there's lots of family and friends around. Uh, that might mean that we say no to a few social gatherings to prioritize our own wellness. And that is totally okay. We will see those people and there's plenty of other ways to let them know that we care about them. All right, number five, emotional rest. Um, sometimes we might have a hard time staying focused and productive when we're not at our emotional best. Um, how do you think we can practice emotional rest? How do you guys get rest when you feel really uh, emotionally stressed? Yeah, you can play with your pets. That's a great way to do it. Um, can cuddle your animals. What else can you do? What do you guys like to do with you when you're stressed? Go walking. Yeah, definitely go walking. Hang out with your family. Sure. That's great. Search it up on Google. <laughs> Listen to soft music. Sure. Think happy thoughts. Yeah. Reflection is great. All right. So there's lots of great ways to get emotional rest. Um, but one good way is to reflect or journal. Um, it has a, emotional rest and mindfulness are very cl closely related. Uh, we could also talk to someone we trust in our life. So a friend, a family member. Um, about a coach maybe about how we're feeling can be really helpful to let out our frustrations. We can also meditate and spend time with pets. We can hang out. Yeah, we can hang out with our family members, think positive things. These are all great ideas. So now I want us to talk about a few general tips for resting well. These are all gonna come in handy for next season summer game season. I know that's a big season for a lot of you. Um, and you know what, sometimes we might get enough hours of rest. So we might be sleeping eight hours a night, but we just still don't feel rested. Um, this could be due to a, a lot of things, right? Uh, quality of rest can be just as important, if not more important than quantity of rest. So here are just a few things we can do to improve our rest at night to sleep better, right? So number one that we've already talked about a few times and you all have mentioned is to stick to a sleep schedule. Uh, believe it or not, our bodies rely on routine. So going to sleep at the same time or around the same time and waking up around the same time can be really helpful in helping us get good rest. Number two is being mindful of how we are fueling our bodies. So a balanced diet can actually be really helpful to getting good rest. Uh, the more balanced we eat during the day, the more easily our bodies can um, help replenish the nutrients that we've lost or build uh, back while we're resting. Number three, creating a restful environment. So we want to minimize light um, when we're trying to sleep and stick to a nighttime wind down routine to get our mind and body ready for rest. So maybe that looks like putting our screens away an hour before bed, right? And instead doing some yoga or meditation right before to help us wind down. Maybe it looks like reading for five minutes before bed or coloring, um, doing something that will help us rest better. Number four is staying active. Active, being active during the day can help us rest better at night. Um, it's really helpful. That way our bodies are already tired by the time we're going ready to go to bed. So um, being active throughout the day, living an active lifestyle can be really helpful. And number five, practicing mindfulness before bed. We talked about mindfulness a few weeks ago. Um, try your best whenever you can to not go to sleep with any worries or stress. So remember, mindfulness is an appreciation and a recognizing the present moment. So practicing just five minutes of mindfulness or meditation can help us recenter and clear our minds and it can help us sleep better. Okay, 
So does anyone have any questions about our health corner today? No questions? I have yes. a question. Sure, Gilbert, go ahead. Uh, my question is, um, so um, how many hours of sleep do we get? I don't know, Gilbert, how many hours of sleep do we get? We talked we get about eight it. hours of sleep. Yes, we want at and, least around eight hours. Yeah. Yep, eight hours and go to bed on time. Yes, that's great. We want a good routine. And limit screen time. Yes, absolutely. Great. All right. Well, per usual, we've got another healthy habit challenge. So we're going to keep doing all of these things that we've been doing. When we get to the new year, we'll start a new set of healthy habit challenges. But this week's challenge is to do two things this week that are going to prioritize your rest. So you can think about it. You can get creative. Maybe that means exercising throughout the day or live, being more active. Maybe that means um, practicing mindfulness or creating a nighttime routine for yourselves, whatever that looks like. Um, you're going to do two things this week that prioritize your rest. And next week, I can't wait to hear what you did. So per usual, if anyone has any health questions, any Holly O'Maliola questions or ideas, incentive questions or song requests, please email me. Okay. And if you want to watch this presentation or any of our previous ones, they're on our YouTube channel. Same YouTube as always. And on Wednesday, we will work out at 3.30. Okay. So with that, I will stop sharing. I will stop recording.